Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Mental House with me, your host, Khadija. Uh, this video is not going to be vlog. I should say it's not going to be very long. Actually, it's just to question you and ask you, are you in touch with this? Y'all see my grandbaby feet back there in the back? Okay, so I'm going to hurry up and get off of here before she wakes up. Anyway, whatever side of the diaspora that you may be on, let me welcome you and let me ask you this question. And I, I'm, I'm hoping for some feedback down in uh, below, okay? Because I this was one of the first things I had to deal with to realize that I was sick. That, um, that let me know just what being in certain environments really do to your uh, posture. Um, how many of y'all believe it's a, it's a, uh, there are some people who can be addicted to drama. How many of y'all out there believe that? You know, and how many of y'all believe that if you don't have uh, the drama at some point giving you injections like an addiction? that you will actually feel some withdrawals, withdrawals, just like a junkie. How many of y'all out there believe that? I know a lot of y'all don't believe that, but I'm here to tell you it's the truth. That was one of the first things I had to tell myself to get in touch with a reality that I wasn't able to, um, that I didn't want to admit. Um, there are, and, and I realized that a lot of people in my community, it's not that we're stuck on and we're aware that we're addicted to drama. It's just that they've allowed a lot of drama where we dance at. And that's why, how we've learned how to adjust and our personalities and our characteristics. We've learned to adjust our whole being due to the racism the um you know the generation after generation of putting you down making you feel um, no matter how you try to embody a different attitude which is very important and you must embrace it but after generation and generation after generation there is a mantra that will play if you don't work real hard to dispel it and um you'll suck up all the drama that has, you know, been implanted in you, um, generational and up until your today. It's just like a lot of people don't want to give any credence to what we're experiencing right now in terms of young people, in terms of violence, and a lot of people wondering how come, how can these young people be so violent? You know, how can they be so, a lot of us are not giving any credence to the fact that these are our drug babies. Uh, some of them, in some cases, second generation of drug addicted fetuses who have now grown up and who are void um, mechanically of anything that's human. So you're walking around here with a lot of zombie-like people. Y'all don't have to watch that Walking Dead shit on TV. All you got to do is walk through the hood and you can see some of these young people who um, parents or their might have been given psychotropic drugs because their parents wanted to get a check and um, they got them a check and they put them kids, those boys on pills. Ritalin, uh, Depakote, uh, uh, you just name it. Name it. I know because I've administered it. Okay, and what I'm saying is, this is the result of a, a lot of this madness that you see running around here. These people are full of drugs, full of lead, because that is another factor in producing the brain to be damaged, is when you have a lot of lead inside of your system. And most of the kids that live in a lot of these homes that are in the urban areas, y'all like to say urban Y'all know that they infiltrated with lead. You know damn well that they got their brains damaged. 
And if you would go through the prison system, if you really wanted to find out, you would take a post and see how many of those guys, what the lead count is and what those, a lot of those people that are in prison, men and women. Okay? Because you have a lot of them in these conditions that live in those type of homes that were infiltrated, older homes that were infiltrated with lead. Yeah, of course they got the lead abatement team that come out and take, you know, supposedly remove the lead from your home, but how much and how many homes have you lived in and then subjected yourself to before you got in touch with the, or before the abatement team came out to, you know, to service where you live in now? So really, when I say stuff like the hood's a graveyard, you know, I don't really mean that the to be funny. I really mean it when I look at how these elitists have set up all these um, junkyards, uh, toxic waste sites, and dumping factories, dumping uh, their waste and poison into the um, rivers and streams that run right through the inner city, to run right through the uh, black communities. When I see, I mean, I'm talking about descendants of slaves. When I see that, it's like this whole thing is set up and that causes you to be addicted to a drama. All of it. From the food we eat. Everything is drama based. And really, like I said, it's at the point now if you eat anything, it better not have a face on it. Because you're taking your a risk of, you know, you your life in your own hands. Take it from me. You know? Y'all got a chance to do something different. Do it. Because you got so many people addicted to drama. They've been addicted to drugs since they birth. Some of them have come into birth with alcohol fetal syndrome. And they're running around in your environment. Wreaking havoc on your community. So again, I'm going to ask you. Do you think that some people subconsciously or consciously are addicted to drama. Huh? Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think. Leave your comment below. Okay, and I'll be back in the next video.